Hello guys, what's up? I am Vijay Thapa and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial series, I will show you how to create simple CSAP desktop application. Here we will create an application that will save contact details of our friends. It will consist of features like adding new contact, updating and deleting existing ones. For this, I am using Visual Studio 2015 as an IDE and MS SQL Server 2014 as a database to save our data. So without further delay, let's move to the first episode of our tutorial series where I will show you how to design an application in Visual Studio 2015. Let's create a new project in Visual Studio. For this, we can go to File menu or directly click on this new project. In this menu, just click on Visual C Sharp, Windows, and we will select Windows Form application to create a C Sharp desktop application. Let's give a name to the application. I'll give e contact, and I will choose a location where this project will be saved. So I'm giving desktop as desktop location. and click on OK to create a new project. Then a new project will be created and a default form will be created. After the project is created, I will change the name of the form to e contact just click right click on form one and click on rename and i will give e to city e contact as my form name and press enter yes i will like to change the name let's give it with a little bit wider I will go to the properties and name e contact and text e contact since here then I will here properties form border style to none first of all I will add a title here so I will go to the toolbox and choose a picture books I'm using picture books to insert a picture up here I have created a logo for e-contact so I will click here and choose image I will click on local resource, import this PC projects. For this, you can use your own logo if you have created, or you can just drag and drop a label and give it a name. Here, this is my logo I created a while ago. I'll click on logo click and stretch image I'll just make it a little big properties picture box logo back color I'll make its back color transparent so it's transparent now I'll save just control s to save now I will drag and drop label and a text box where is text box where is text box here it is then I will give its name just click on label and go to properties 
then here I will give LBL TST contact ID back color transparent then it's text to contact ID let's make it little bigger I'll go to font and increase its size to 12 okay I will make I will give his name txt box contact id let's make contact c uppercase then make his font size bigger 12 let's just Then I will just copy and paste to make field to add contact name, phone number, email address, etc. Sorry. I suddenly I I unintentionally clicked on uh, double click on text box so it generated a button click event Let's align them change this text to properties is LVL first name text change text to first name then change its properties you go to here and txt box first name then change its, its properties to LVL LST name here properties txt box st name Just, I forgot to change its text I'll go here and double click on text to change name Then I'll change its to contact number. Change here. And we have contact number. Change its properties. Txt box. Txt contact number. We need two more. Let's control V. Address. Let's address. address this address could be of multiple lines so I will set its multiple line properties to true and make it a little bigger make it a little bigger let's add a gender to add gender I will use a uh, combo box combo box is a uh, drop down box where you can choose values and the label 
change its properties text text to gender then angle gender then give change its properties cmb gender gender font size to 12 then set the value in this combo box I will set male and female okay so this combo box holds two value that's that are male and female let's create some buttons like adding updating and deleting for this we'll go to toolbox and drag and drop some buttons button one let me make it a little bigger control c control b See control P. I have created four buttons. Let's change their properties. Button one here BTN add add then properties update update properties delete text to delete and then this to clear btn clear clear so we have created four different buttons for this application add button will save new contacts update button will update the existing contacts delete will delete the selected contacts and clear will clear the values in this input fields let's make its font size a little bit a little bigger i'll make its font size 12 and give it four color what is four color four color here it is four color to green i will select green Forest green, no, a little bit. dark green, or I will set its background color as forest green, forest green, and change its four color to white. Where is white? Where is white? the white so it will be visible change update to let's give update a uh, blue ba blue background properties for color to for for color to white and back color to blue where is blue 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 still blue and change this font size to 12 for delete we'll give red back color change this font size to 12 back color to red where is red I'll give crimson it's like red it's like red so I'll give one crimson for color white where is white 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 let's give clear a uh, yellow color I don't know what to give so I'll just give yellow or orange orange color I have given a orange color font size to 12 okay that's it
okay let's drag and drop a data grid view to show our contact details in a tabular form from here just go to data and select drag and drop a data grid view position let's position it like this size and this size let's create a field for search toolbox label properties text search text search font size tool back color transparent then drag drag and drop a text box properties text text box search search then this font size to 12 make it bigger that's it okay let's create uh, our button here to close this application so I will just search logo on Google and download it and use it in our application so I will go to icons it .com. it is a good website to find icons for free I'll search for exit icon okay I'll use this icon I'll use 100 pixel download and go to show in folder this is the folder so I will just put it on desktop now go to the project choose a picture box to insert that icon here is it I will put it here click on this small triangle to select the image click on choose image local resource import desktop then exit where is where is where is it where it is it is here okay I will choose stretch image then just okay that's look that looks perfect so I'll just make all these buttons to center okay guys this is the front end design for the application let's save it just just save it by pressing ctrl and s then I will run this application and we will see how the application will look when it is completed the project loading So this is what our projects will look like after it's completed. So this is it for today. In the next in the next episode, I'll show you how to create a database for this application in MS SQL Server 2014 and connect it to this application. So see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and would like to see similar kinds of video in future, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any confusion related to this video, then don't forget to comment. I'll reply as soon as possible. Bye bye.